blaze blue fuse white. And we're back again. We've got game one, day five at Division One Australian Ultimate Championships. And the sun is out now. No rain to speak of. We've got a game in the women's division, Fuse versus Blaze. And we've got GWS Blaze coming out on offense. Moving well in that horror. GWS is second time on the uh, showcase field today. Seen them before, it's our first look at Fuse as we see Simone Ryan Ooh. catching one deep. Centers the disc. Back to Sarah Perkins, who's been a real dependable handler for their O-line. That's a lovely around break to Simone Ryan and the score to Joey Chow. Good GWS start. make quick work of that O-point. Yeah, good start. So Fuse out of Brisbane. Looks like their coach, is that Anson Chung coaching them? It is. Yes, coach it looks like Anson. it. Anson being a uh, uh, coach, team manager, assistant coach uh, for a number of rep teams. I think he did the Blue Bottles. He's did, done the uh, Goannas. Probably many more. Oh, that sun. Tell you what. Avril, we've, we've waited for this. We've, we deserve this. I, I checked. Yeah, I'd say. Game five. Lights are still on, interestingly. Wind chill, sun effect. I'd much rather take the sun. Absolutely. As we say hello across the globe to uh, some Ulti TV royalty, uh, Milan. And Mr. Rapazzo himself, a living legend. Welcome, gents. Hope you enjoy the game as we see Fuse go for their first offensive point. Yeah, centering the disc, that was a nice pull. Looks like Horry's pretty um, popular structure. They've got a couple of Irish recruits. That's oof, nice diving save here. And Fuse working upfield, although on the fourth side. Oh, and as I say that, the inside flick doesn't come off. So GWS, an early opportunity for a break now. Betty Tan, nice gainer up to Quan. She's got a couple of undercuts offered, but doesn't like the look, so goes to the upline. Oh, and a lovely long put. Oh, oh and nice red grab. by Betty Tan. Early break, GWS to zip. Uh, you mentioned the Irish imports. Now, I don't know if they're Irish, but here, here are the names. O'Sullivan, O'Brien, another O'Brien, and O'Shield Fleming, a Sullivan, and O'Regan Atel. It's like walking down Grafton Street in Dublin. <laughs> no, that is. <laughs> I don't know if they're all Irish, but geez, it's, uh, and, and throw McInnes in there as well. Ash McInnes. That is a very Irish name. <laughs> That's an Irish team with some Brisbane ring-ins, not yep. the other way around. <laughs> absolutely, absolutely. I'm fairly confident number eight, uh, O'Sullivan, and 28, Ashil Fleming, have only recently come across to Australia. Welcome. We welcome them all. I played for Ireland once. What was that? I played for Ireland at Worlds. Oh, did you? Yeah. How'd you yeah. manage that? Um, Nikki Shires cut me from Monday, so I went and gave them a call and said, <laughs> do you need an extra player? And they said, well, are, they, are you any good? And I lied, and I said yes, and then they took their pick. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so Rogue offensive line get another bite at the cherry, this time on the downwind. Looks like the junk look from GWS has slowed things down, though. Trying to swing across to get out from that four sideline. GWS doing well to collapse in and force some pressure, it must be getting to a high stall. She goes for a over the top, which doesn't come off. 
GWS another opportunity. Yeah, real chance here for Fuse. Yeah. Oh, sorry for G Dub. For GWS, yeah. Boo Dib, lovely throw to Chow. Oh, very nice. Oh! What? <laughs> what? Deflected off the Fuse defender. GWS. I think they all lost it in the sun. We just fell into a lap, though. Anyway, GWS still in possession. Boo Dib with a disc on the doorstep. Looks for the inside flick. Throws it. Oh! Fuse get the D. Just showed well a little bit read. too much of it to the yeah. defender there. Yep. Again, that junk. Slowing things down. Pointing where she wants the place to oh, go. Oh, nice bead. Everyone okay? Oh, Ooh. just clipped her ankle on the way down. Yeah. Not intentional at all, obviously, but nice bead. Yeah, just that outside shoulder. But a little too close to the Fuse player. It's getting tapped in. Fuse with possession. Again, locked into that four sideline. GWS have done well to trap. Force a high throw. GWS get the block. Three right in the middle. Ooh, time to settle. Just get your end zone play in order. Jump. Yep. <laughs> oh, no. There we go. 3-0. Now, are we, are we going to see it? Are we going to see it? Are we going to see it? Watch him. No timeout. Okay. Manson <laughs> happy to not. He hasn't read the coach's book. 3 0 down, you called the timeout. Manson. Well, I mean, do you rest of coming. Oh, we've got the team list here GWS. Captained by Betty Tan and. Kristen Mortimer, who played a big role in the first streamed game of today. Spirit captain Monica Chang and Michi Sano. The O-line really getting it done in the first streamed game. We've got Perkins, yep. Ryan, Chow, Boudib, all very reliable. Yeah. See what Fuse can bring. They've got Cat Smith on the line, who brings, brings plenty of experience. Yeah, might be able to stretch the field a bit, a few mm. long throws as well. All right, let's see if Fuse can get underway, click into gear a little bit. Oh. Oof, bit of a bounce in Break. the grass. Smith with it. Oh, it's the lovely inside. Oh, no, three, three sets of hands. Three sets. Oh. You're right. Three sets. just dropped. And I, I'm actually saying, like, the sun is going to start because it's it's mm. setting behind us. This is going. It's players are going to lose this, uh, the disc in the sun. Yeah, it's very glary, isn't it? As GWS move it up to half field. Good throw. Oh, high option makes it work. A lovely They're continuation out. on the break. GWS make quick work. Four zip. Surely it. there's a T. Where is he? No, nothing. Just cool, calm, collection. It is a T. Yeah, it's a timeout. <laughs> okay, Z, should, should have called it a three, Anson. Uh, well, look at that. Blink and you miss it. 4-0 up. A, a nice throw down there. I mean, you and I have been on this field all day, but for those who are tuning in for the first time, uh, quite frequently overshot, um, particularly from that side of the field going that way. We've seen a lot of discs go long out the back, so nice waiting on that, not to overshoot the... Uh, her teammate, especially because you did have so much separation there, you can just see, yeah, a little bit of the disc angled up. That's going to help it sit. Easy run on. And four zip. Bang. Yeah, if GWS can keep using that break side continuation to advantage, then I think they're going to do well. As we have a look at uh, the Fuse team sheet, as we said, it's an Irish team with a few uh, Queensland ring-ins. Uh, Georgia Sullivan. And Ash McInnes are the captains, uh, with Zoe Renekauer and Claire Barkham, Bartram, sorry, as uh, spirit captains. Quite a few Irish names on that uh, on that screen, which is great to see. Love to see it. Yeah, and the experience on the fuse line. I can see Dom Simpson. She's been around the block. 
As we mentioned, Cat Smith. We mentioned Cat, yeah. Yep. Ash McInnes as well. Got married recently, didn't she? Oh, ah, yeah, I think you're right. Yep. Oh, that's right. Tomodachi, I think that was on her um, ah, right. submission. Yep. So Anson rallying his troops in a really bright and happy yellow bucket hat. Yeah, I mean, you don't miss him, do you? <laughs> Let's see if Fuse can click into gear. GWS are ready. So hopefully Fuse have had an opportunity to uh, have a chat around structures, maybe uh, call like a string line or a set play, something that they know, that they've drilled, that they're comfortable with get on the board and uh, start making inroads on this lead. You see G-Dub looks like they've set up a cup. Mm. Yeah, it looks like they're forcing the away sideline, really it? trapping them across, making it hard to get that swing around. They've got some tall timber in that cup There's as well. A very long hammer option cross field. You can't see it on screen, but down to the left of screen. Very deep, but very free. Mm. Oh, Simone oh. Ryan picks off a nice swing. Read it really well. She's dumped it back. And now GWS have a chance to go five zip up. It's a great catch by Chow. Outstretched hands. It'll play a completely got. poached. Oh! Uh, unfortunately, just turfs that one. Space. You see that one go in nine times out of yeah. ten, I reckon. Yep. No mark, no pressure. No mark, no pressure. And no, and no defender necessarily mm. on, um, on the receiver on either. Sim Ryan. So, yeah, you can see she almost baits it just a bit, and then as soon as she sees it goes, out goes the arm. Mm. So, again. Fuse having a little bit of trouble getting it off this four sideline. The cup's been very effective. Just squeezing it up. Tam goes a long option. Oh, the receiver had hands on it, but um, just a bit too quick. That's Zoe Renica. We've got Mel Boudou picking up. Oh, sorry, Perkins picking up. I couldn't catch her own disc, unfortunately. Well, yeah, I was wondering why she was running. I don't know if anyone touched it. I was like, you can't, you can't catch it. <laughs> so if she was at least able to uh, get a few turns back off GWS, which is a positive. Mm. They're working it up. They're on the red zone. Oh, just that little one doesn't come off again. Throws behind her intended receiver. Boogie picks it up quickly, wants to get things going. Up to yeah, Joey Chow. Oh, Ooh, no. just overthrown. I think what you're seeing here is the last game of the day. Yeah. I, I, I don't know if they've played two or three. Anson, how many have you played today? Good chat. Thanks, man. Uh, this is their second game. It's at least GWS's second game. Might be their third. Ooh, As again, and Simone, Simone Ryan. Ryan. She and goes off for a jog. Got power. Right, looking for the under. Nice. Nice to limb. Good cut from Perkins up yeah, the line. Yeah, that's nice dump defense. Oh, unfortunately, in and out of Izzy Bartans. Some tired legs, gusting wind, sun in their eyes. It's not an easy situation to be in. As Tam picks up, Fuse. Oh, she goes for a big option, which comes off. Receiver did well to catch that. Really zippy throw. She goes back behind. Again, Fuse are really just getting stuck on that four sideline yeah. and not having much window to work with. There goes a speculative uh, bladey throw, which G would us swallow. Her. It's a timeout called by GWS, looking to settle things down. After the first um, four points, which were really quick, we've actually yes. had a bit of a grinder. Yep. Yep. Yeah, you probably had four points in ten minutes. Mm.
So one time out each now, I think, for each team. Uh, I thought it was three, two per no, max no, two per no, sorry, they've called. Oh, as in each. yes, yes. Yeah. Always on the move? You can keep up to date with Ulti TV on all of our social media channels. Like, follow, subscribe, share us with a friend, or send us a message just to say hey. Thank you for supporting us in our mission to grow ultimate everywhere. We're back in with Fuse versus GWS. GWS up for love, starting on their defensive end zone line. Nice structured uh, Horro. This is what a Horro should look like. So bring it in. The wing cuts under diagonally, but the uh, dump defender got in the lane, shut that one down. Oh, that one catches a bit of air. Oh, it's always going to. So Fuse will be happy with that. Their main focus coming out of that uh, timeout would have been just to get the turn first, mm. worry about everything else later. Again, getting trapped on that sideline. Not much space to work with. Oh, oh, oh. She was in the space but just fell on top of her head. Sorry, Renica. GWS gets another bite. Yeah. A couple of turns so far at this point. Setting up that horror again. Yeah, this time it's Sim. Nice, nice under. attack with Chow. She goes for a big option. Oh, it's floating a long time. Oh. oh. Confused. Tant picks it up. Well, at least now they've got it Plus in the middle. Sullivan. Yeah. You know, yep. keep it, try and keep it in the middle. When they're in on the that trapped line on the sidelines, that's when they're getting their, their finding turns. Yeah, which is what's happening now. Although they're actually using their legs to move it through the cup, which is better than what we've seen previously. Yeah. Nice swing around to Sullivan yep. across to Tam. This is the high side. They want to keep it here. Avoid getting too trapped. They've got to move it quickly to avoid the cup collapsing in. And Tam goes with it, takes what she's given. Fleming on the side. Up to Tam. She wouldn't mind seeing a little... Oh, that's nice. There we go. Fuse. Peg one on the board, back. So the Irish Queenslander team opened their account. They're on the board. You know, it's actually quite a pleasant day. Now? I had, some, I had some up and downs, but here we are. The sun is shining. Ballarat's turned it on for us. Sun on our backs. There's a few grim grey ones, though. Still about. Don't, don't bring that. No, don't tell me that. <laughs> I'm going to stick my head in the sand. Been a big day. Five days of, mm. uh, sorry, five games uh, in day one. We will be back bright and early tomorrow at 8.30 for Spicy Chili versus Chaos. So Spicy Chili out of uh, Victoria. Chaos, the Western Australian team. And then Manly Mullets Hot Chili at 10.20. Fishwick versus Mammoth at 12.10. And then a really big one, Sunder Slice versus Ellipsis Men at 2 o'clock. That one's going to be a tight game, you'd think? Oh, for sure. Right, infuse their D line gets gets to go for a run. Oh, offside called. Hello. Offside called. So Betty Tan will pick it up and bring it up to the brick mark. As we established earlier, it's no longer repool. The offensive team play from the brick mark. There's a cup set by Fuse. They're trying the same tactic as GWS is to them. See if it works out. 
as well. Judah Brest using their legs to break through that cup, taking what they're given. And now they go backwards and around, open up to the high side. Very nice. Yeah, cup are struggling to catch up now. Got Tan with the disc, really that dependable access handler. Moving towards that four sideline now, but Betty Tan makes good space. Oh, Whoa. she loves <laughs> round backhand. Okay. Plenty of time. Ooh, but perhaps a little bit too far. So we're talking about those overthrows to that downwind end. Looks like it's the first one of the day. Oh, sorry, of this game. I he wouldn't be we, happy uh, with that defensive effort. No. <laughs> I think we are getting a little bit of support from uh, further north, way further north in Ireland. Sophie Farman. As we see Fuse, lovely up the line cut. Oof. That wind just pushed that over. It's really, late. it's really tricky. It is a, a right to left. Quite a deep stack from GWS, but like you were saying before, because it is downwind, you can afford to. Mm. The deepest in the stack has a really good under, came in, took a disc at pace. Yep. Another nice under. Fuse have got to stop these. Got to make them throw something high and lofty and overthrow, I think. Yeah. Yep, again, getting beaten under. Oh, that one's going to Oh, speculative one on the break side, but floats and well read by GWS. I don't think that was who she meant to throw it. Right? <laughs> I think it was a third or fourth option. Yeah, yeah. But hey, you know what? You put it out to the break side. Good things can happen. Mm, that's it. Goal. Oh, goal. <laughs> there we go. A very <laughs> understated celebration. Yeah. That was Dolan to Quan, GWS. So looking to use a few um, alternative... Options on their own line, not the usual names we've been used to calling. Yep. Good to see, using their depth on, on the roster. Uh, we've got a question from Brian in the chat. How do you bet on this game? Uh, absolutely not, Brian. It's, it's frowned upon. You don't bet upon uh, on Ultima Frisbee. Um, that said, uh, send us a DM and I can uh, put you in touch with the bookie. Uh, that was a joke, everyone. We don't, we don't bet on Ultima. We play for the love of the sport. Uh, Theoretically, though, I'd say Fuse are about 10 to 1 to win this. Uh, they're, they're, yep. It's nicer on the board now, but GWS still keeping the um, still keeping the pressure on. And like you say, just those unders, unders, unders. Mm. Like, if you're going to take something away, especially in the wind, take away the unders, make them throw, make them throw deep. Yeah. going up that one's short but it will roll it will roll not a bad roller it will roll and it'll roll from the sideline and this is where fuse have struggled so that was probably if it was deliberate it was very <laughs> well done clever. yeah no seriously <laughs> but they managed to get it off so fuse adjusting now wanting to spend more time in the middle they know that that's where their flow is good well, they're getting the across sideline. to that fourth sideline again Oh, getting high. Yep. GWS are doing really, really well. That cup. Just to pressure anything behind those insides. Yeah. And especially when, it, as you say, it was on that four sideline. GWS, easy unders all day. Yeah. And that's even. Like from a fuse perspective, you need to take that away even more because you know the hard, the deep throws harder. Yep. So you need to really pressure the unders. Sim Ryan. There's the easy disc. Oh, that's Ooh, a lovely crossfield throw. That's GWS beautiful. putting on a bit of a clinic now. Mm. Six one. It was Ung with the score? That was a lovely throw. Yeah. Throw into throwing into space.
really nice. Yu to Ung. Assist and score. Yeah, GWS are just looking really clinical. They're cutting hard, they're clearing hard, meaning that there's plenty of time for the second or the third option. Just making space for each other. Yeah, they, they just don't really look pressured with the disc. We see, we're seeing high counts from Fuse. We're not seeing mm. high counts um, when GWS have it. Mm. It's always tricky because, you know, if you lose a point, you start on offence. You know, if you want to put on a zone, it takes a lot of work to get organised, right? So the default is match, but they're really getting torn up. So uh, maybe having to make a tactical change. We'll see what answers got in his playbook. Nice pull. It'll be taken on the full. And it'll be centered to Cat Smith. Uh, set play, someone's going. Oh. Nice move up into the middle. This better from Fuse, keeping it in the middle of the field, not letting them get pushed over to the uh, to the fourth sideline. And Kat sees one that she likes and she lets it go. One on one. Oh. Both players struggling to read the uh, the angle of it as well as the wind. Not a bad put. And again, from a Fuse perspective, giving it a crack, you know. One out, defender one out. She was in the space. I think just the defender flashing before her eyes distracted yeah. her enough, yeah. Yeah, 100%. Yeah, she actually boxed the defender out pretty well, but she's coming a bit too quickly, I think, to really settle. It's a horror again from Fuse, uh, from Blaze, sorry, from GWS. Mon's sitting deep here, and yeah. now Mon's gone, but it won't come. Nice, up the line. Ooh, Ooh cool. Cat Smith tries to poach in and all that. Oh, Ooh, well done. Maintain possession of that by Kong. Gets a nice gainer up to Quan. Looking for Tan. Ooh, just enough by the defender. Yeah. Flashed in front. Again, sometimes that's just enough to that's make your you receiver yeah. yeah, blink or Especially just in the wind. Read it. The wind bobbling up. Yeah. Bang. And Bartram also goes for a big, but that one falls short and GWS able to take that to ground. We've got Tan picking up again. Cat Smith really getting into that lane, making sure it's not an easy option. Nice but Tan gets that dominator movement and goes for a big. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Forward, forward, forward. <laughs> oh, she just turned and did a 360, and that was enough. <laughs> well, we said it twice before, but the def about defenders and what de how what defenders do can change what you as an offensive yeah. player can do. And so I think it was Cat um, Cat Smith. Yes. Um, turned around. So then as a defender, you go, oh, well, have they read it better than me? So I'm going to turn around because I think I need to contest it with them when really the right play there, in hindsight, was just to, to keep running. Yep, that's it. What a heat on that catch. Cat Great Smith winds up for a big one. But Betty Tan ooh, intercepts that. She's lucky <laughs> the Fuse player didn't have a second bite. She was lucky. The... Uh, the catching and throwing, particularly the catching, because these Ooh. discs are coming out with heat yes. of, from GWS, is really good. Especially, you'll have another bite. You'll have another bite. Oh. Um, overall, has been really good. Mm. Like they, they, They're throwing the disc hard and flat and low because of the wind. Yeah. But we're not seeing many kind of slip out, which I think um, deserves credit for, yeah. from all GWS players. Absolutely, absolutely. And, you know, those fast, flat discs also make it really difficult for the defenders to get a bit at it. Yeah, big time. Bang. Oh, that's a big one. I think that's O'Regan. The two on one, that was always going to be a really difficult assignment. But I think the message gone has, has gone out to um, to Smith being like, don't die wondering. Yeah, just go for it. Licence. So Cat Smith on Betty Tan. I'd say this probably favours GWS because it all oh, a lovely block. That's O'Sullivan. There we oh, go. Oh, and Fuse get a score. There you go, 6 2. Fuse just threw a bit of grit. Mm. 
managed to get the score. And good response from the teammates. A bit of uh, people up and about. Yep, it's only their second goal, but... Yeah, lots of hands up, high fives, claps. That's what you like to see. Absolutely, and why not for O'Sullivan? I think she got the block and then the score. Double happiness. Nice. Uh, questions about the wind uh, on, from the stream. It was, it's, it's going right to left, so it's blowing from the end that you're seeing here. Um, but it's blustery. Like right now, very still. But uh, it won't take long to get into this point before it's really starting to, uh, to affect throws. So anything high or anything long will be wind affected. And uh, it's definitely the end that um, Fuse are now pulling from. That's, that's the, uh, the downwind end. So you'll see pulls go further from, uh, from Fuse now. GWS pick up, go to Perkins. Perkins moves through the cup and they could be away here. Want to be just a little bit patient. Looks like it's transition now. It is in a match. Perkins is holding on to it. And Ooh, gets hand block. Nice. That was O'Shea Fleming with the block and she goes for the deep cut. Ooh. Close. She might have got there if she left her feet. Yep. But well done on the block and opportunity for double happiness, not quite matching O'Sullivan's from the last point. See if she can do that again. So, question Who is the handsome man coaching GWS? No idea, Zach16. We see Ooh, one go up from GWS. Shot. Nice mark. Stop that around that uh, both the inside and the around break. Mm. Perkins Ooh. peels off. She's got a poach player. Yep. And now there's one there's there's a poach player at the front of the stack. No, yep. can't find her. Oh that downwind. Slammed into the turf. It's tricky. And that and that's why Kua was saying the the wind mm. wasn't there at the start. It's just started blowing up as we got then, going. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. Oh, Perkins, foul call. Yeah, yeah. Call a foul. Perkins had to think about it and then de yeah, decided to call foul. I have no wisdom. No. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, just taking another look. So came out at that one. I th so, it was on the second attempt, mm. would be the question. <laughs> the Fuse girls certainly have an opinion. <laughs> right. Well captured, Rex. I, I like that, yeah. All right, we're uh, we're our good old game advisors here. If there's a lot of talk. It's probably going to be a contest, isn't there. it? Foul. Contested. Yeah, hand signals contested. are coming. There we go. Back we go. Something that if you once you start to uh, watch a lot of ultimate. Because uh, hand signals came in, I don't know, maybe like five, ten years ago, maybe ten years ago. Um, the women's game used them far better than the men. <laughs> it, it, it was, it was something. Here we go. There's a pick. Right, great. Fourteen sets of hands go up with the with the V signal. The men's sign 
you, I, I don't know, they're talking about, they're grumbling, grunting about something. You get, no one uses a hand signal. No one knows what's going on. They don't even know what's going on, <sighs> much less us or the people at home. So well done to the women's game for uh, Embracing, blazing the trail. Yeah. If, if only your male counterpart athletes uh, could be inspired enough to do the same. <laughs> Looks like we're coming in again on Voodoo for GWS. See, I didn't even know this thing. I used the wrong, it was a violation, not a pick. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you knew that and you didn't tell me. Thank you. Point proven. Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> nice grab, Perkins. Perkins. Spread it really well. well. Read. Everyone's streaming past, Just patient, looking for you. Nice fake move to Mark. Back to Perkins. Lovely break, using that break side to good effect. Oh, no. Ooh, just oh, goes go. Oh, yeah, oh, go. Lovely layup scored by Joey Chow. Scraps at the back. She almost, I, I love, I'm going to enjoy watching this again because I think she almost went, do I go? She almost yeah. started to like <laughs> shuttle. Was like, oh, no, I won't. Actually, yeah, yeah, I'll go. Big smiles, big high fives. Why not? 7-2 the score. Joey. Yeah. She goes, oh, so, you know oh. what? I can grab that. <laughs> Great bid. Great grab. Fuse the ones that need the luck, but uh, right now it's going GWS's way. Even the overthrows are goals. It's a great grab. Ooh, full extension. Really awkward kind of uh, falling to the side. Very well done. So, don't know if the Irish can bring a bit of luck to this. Dismal weather and oh, game. I see what you did there. Yeah, okay, nice. We can just throw a, a, an all island line on. So there you go. Could work. I'll Maybe tell that. you what, an all island uh, line at the pub would go pretty well, I reckon. <laughs> it uh, would. Not, not that we encourage boat racing, but if they were to, <laughs> I wouldn't want to be messing with them. Oh, potentially a D. Cat Smith getting going now. Oh, lovely quick movement. Although this one, that's ooh, out. That's out. <laughs> the wind just gusted up and we're gonna gave that a little bit too much. We're going to see this. Here we go. We can. So let's let's watch. She's in the air. Yeah. She's on the line on when the she line. catches that. Right out, come. Yep. Oh, great wrangle, Rexy. Well done. Beautiful, Rex. <laughs> All right, Benny Tan coming to pick it up for GWS. So stack's pretty far. Oh, just a bit too much heat on that one. Hughes, O'Regan are towed. Back to Smith, up to O'Regan. Continuation eventually comes. Still working that fourth side. Little one, two. Centers a disc, that's a wise go move. Side, See if they can side. go break side. And again. Yes. There you go. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> O'Sullivan with the score. There we go. Chest bump. Oh, I'm going to venture a guess that that's a couple of the Irish yeah, girls. Something absolutely. tells me. <laughs> O'Sullivan to O'Regan. I think they had some good connections at Tomodachi too. Yeah, right. Yeah. All right, so she's starting to starting feel to more yeah, in the game. Starting yeah. to click into gear. I was going to say that. It's uh, positive early signs. Yeah, GWS definitely not looking as clean as they were early in the game. Jeez, where that sun at? <sighs> Look, I think we're getting to the point now, 4.30. If we don't see it soon, I don't think we're going to see it again. But anyway, GVO, good vibes only.
Looks like Anson's calling some matchups potentially. Well, he'd want to shuttle off the line pretty quick because mm. we've already had two whistles yeah. in Anson, unless you're subbing into play. <laughs> Still hanging around. <laughs> Anson, you're on the field, dude. Eventually makes his way off. You'll see him in the background. There he goes. Off he jumps. Fleming up with the pull for Fuse. That might it's a nice downwind. Oh, you reckon? I reckon that might no, be a brick. No, it isn't. Out the side. Only just. just. Izzy Bath's going to take it in from the brick mark. Horro set up, which has been working pretty well for them. Yeah, agreed. Oh, straight up for Go Simone on, Ryan. Well done, Simone. <laughs> Lovely. Already on, a front, on the front foot. Simone's dro dragging drawn two. Dragging two defenders, yeah. yeah. And that's you in the front of end zone. That's good. Nice Patient. safe pass to Budib and then straight back. So this is jump. obviously a set play. We'll, mm. Hopefully we'll see it from the pool reception. Yeah. But good connection between... Um, between Simone Ryan and her thrower because as soon as it was checked in, Simone was gone. Saw yep. that she had separation. Her, her, offender, her defender was standing short of her. Um, so that just gave Sim all the space to cut and her teammates obviously knew that uh, they needed to leave the space for her. And it looks like another timeout, time I'm guessing. Both teams are forming, so... And then nice patience. Score the goal. We are seeing it's oh no, it's half. Oh yeah, half yeah. eight three. Half Andrew. eight three, yeah. yeah. Uh, so we will take a short break. Uh, we'll have a listen to the messages out of the t uh, huddles. Maybe try and grab a player or two. Uh, we will see you back for the second half of the last game of the day.
And we're back in GWS Blaze taking half 8-3 against Brisbane Fuse. Fuse to start on offense this point. Big pull from Betty Tan to get things started. Tam and Smith in the backfield for Fuse. O'Sullivan, who's been really hot in the first half. Looked off. Good dump mark. Oh, dump mark is fantastic, but sneaks a little inside break. Good commitment from Kat as well. Mm. Oh, a big shot goes up. Lefty backhand. Well oh, done, Simone. Ryan just beats O'Sullivan in that deep space. Oh, Tan takes about five grabs, but manages to secure the disc. Brings it up to Ung. Oh, yeah. oh, just a little bit too much heat on that for Tan. Smith, two. Oh, oh nice Ash McInnes, full extension layout grab, but just a little bit too much mustard on that one. Tan bringing it back in, centers disc. Mon Chang's providing great uh, long cuts, which means she's making gainers. That one went wide on her but she's being really disciplined to stretch the field, yep. um, but not hanging out deep and is coming in under. Yeah. Way to work those legs. Smith. It's really good dump defense. Yeah, fantastic pressure. That Brings generates the block, yeah. yeah. Fuse have really brought it up a notch. You could see during half-time circle. Oof. Oh, Smith versus Ryan. Yeah, good matchup. <laughs> yeah, you can really see Fuse bringing the intensity yeah. in that timeout. Really happy, um, really positive, really urging each other to keep giving, and bring that intensity. You can see that in the early part of this half. Oh, Cat Smith for O'Regan. Perkins is in the space. O'Regan had a hand on it. No foul called. No, I think she knew kind of Perkins was mo just making a play at the disc. Yeah. We can't call that. Bid. Ooh. Tan across to Chow, across to Chang. And up to Ryan. Just getting settled now, the offense. Up to Perkins. Oh, back. and Oregon <laughs> gets one back. Oh, no. Oh, oh no, it slipped out. Full stretch layout. Tan in and out of the hands. Quite manage. Yeah, 100%. Drill that in. A little bit of a crowd forming. I think uh, the men's Queensland team trying to urge the Fuse girls yeah. back into the game. That's not going to help. 9 3 the score. It's a break out of half. It's a break out of half. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's less than ideal. Like this is ideal up here and less. Less than ideal. But a lot of smiles still, a lot of positivity, a lot of uh, Fuse plays still going towards the line. Yeah, let's hope that Fuse can, um, don't, let, no, not, let's hope Fuse can um, not let GWS squash that positivity. It wasn't a bad point, like they had opportunities. That's the thing, yeah, and that's the difference between now and the start of the game. The start of the game was Fuse would turn and GWS would punish and put it in mm. and not give it back. At least now they're getting the disc back yep. on, on both sides, yep. um, whether they're starting on O or D. Um, so you just got to, I guess, take that progress and, and you know, the positive elements out of that as best you can. Yep. Right, got a hand. And we're off. So Fleming, still looking upfield, manages a nice under. Got a pass halfway, which is good. To back a, bit a little now. bit with Sullivan, but swings out the far side to Tam. A nice little undercut. So Fuse doing well to really commit to those undercuts. GWS handlers probably need to shut those down a little bit better. Again, oh. another undercut. Oh! Uh, pays off. Hang uh, on, there might be a pick, pick called. 
Oh, uh, yeah, pick call before the throw. Yeah, and it, I think it's fair enough to say that could have affected Yeah. So the wind kicking up once again. It's been coming and going, but right now it's here. Fleming goes up line. Nice separation. That one works. Great throw. Well weighted. Thrown by O'Shill Fleming. To, to Fleming for the score. So Fuse peg one back. 4-9. We're a little bit over halfway. So there's a little bit of time to make up ground. But they've got to get on it pretty quick. Yep, it is a timeout. <laughs> Teams huddling up, hopefully staying warm. Oh, I was going to say it's for warmth as much <laughs> as yeah, yeah, yeah. Team bonding, connection, engagement, warmth. That's the one. <laughs> was that a fused timeout called by Anson? Uh, I think it was, yeah. yeah. few more layers tomorrow, I reckon. Mm. We'll learn from my uh, my mistakes. But we are also in for slightly nicer weather. Mm. Game advisors keeping time, making sure the team stick to the 90 seconds. All right, Fuse, biggest test of their, the game for them is uh, upwind mm. on D, going upwind on D. If they can put one in here, that'll do enormous amounts for their confidence and positivity. Absolutely. Decent pull. Yeah, big blading one by Cat Smith. Rolled, got there. Gets through a pair of hands. Bath and Perkins in the backfield along with Boo, Boo Dib. Fuse with a junkie oh, look. Oh, putting pressure. Oh, oh, oh. Tips. Sullivan going. That was great work because she actually shut down the two throws before it as yeah. well. Yep. She did everything. I think this is a good move from Fuse just to start out on that junk look. Yeah. Slow down the offense. Yeah, I don't mind it. Now they're. Oh, what is that? you. Huge. That's like a baseball ground. <laughs> throws the goal. That's like wow. in baseball when you see the guys do the back of the back of the hand. What a grab. I think she's hurt herself, but that is worth it because that is a top ten clip. That wrist rotation. That's what that I mean. It's like grabbing it upside down. <laughs> Let's have a look again. Poached. Great option. Oh. oh that is a great take. Catch of the day. Catch of the day, I reckon, yep. And conservation of greatness. <laughs> Easy open throw for score. Got to love that. <laughs> well done, you. We didn't see much of her in that first streamed game. No, no, no. But it's well and truly arrived yeah. in this one. That grab was unreal. Everyone getting around it. And rightly so. Nice pull by Betty Tan. Just past the brick mark. Ooh, nice gainer, Fuse. Oh, and a quick huck, but a bit too flat and fast 
for O'Regan and O'Sullivan. The Irish imports to chase down. A bit too far north, that one. O'Regan's got wheels, though. Mm, Genuine wheels. Absolutely. And some great defensive pressure, too. A big poach out here. Yeah, there you go. Comes over to the fourth side. Looking at the dump. O'Regan shutting that dump down. So the second option works out for GWS. What time? Ooh, Kat Smith Kat gets in there ahead of Betty Tan and goes for her receiver. It's a lovely score. Yay. Nice work. I've got a 36 from Brisbane Fuse on my sheet. Not sure who to credit that one to, but it's a lovely grab from Kat Smith and a one throw to get the score. And Fuse needed that one. They did. Just keep in touch. There's a lot of smiles and happiness and merriment. <laughs> Slightly unusual celebration uh, from a couple of Fuse girls. Thankfully, not caught on camera. Thankfully, we didn't uh, film that. Consensual. All about uh, team bonding. <laughs> and I don't want to whilst the mic is on. I don't want to know. I'll turn this thing off and then you got my full attention. The fuse, uh, fuse players here just informing me about the uh, team bonding they get up to. And Good people here at Ulti TV needing plausible deniability. <laughs> All right. GWS have it at the brick mark. Oh, oh big team. Oh. Hello. Massive run through by Tan. Now we're hearing a bit of volume from the Fuse team. Huge. Just what is needed to lift the team. GWS just caught napping a little bit here. Let's get a look at that one again. Great. Straight just, through, straight yeah. Hit behind a player, accelerates through. Lovely. Ooh, Sullivan, that one works out, but there's another pick. Yeah, but that surely it stays there, that didn't affect. <laughs> uh, they're just working out where to reposition. Oh, lovely. Yeah. Not quite in. Can few sort this one out? Oh, yeah. well done. We'll race to the front of the cone. Absolutely. Bang, win. 6 10, and everyone's a little bit more up and about. And that is the up, even though the wind has died down a bit, that still is an up window. Absolutely. You take that one any day. That was a nice assist from Zoe Renica to Catherine Salisbury for the score. Anson not looking happy on the outside, but I reckon he's a fair bit happier than he was about half an hour ago. Yeah. Real turnaround in this game. There he is. And we're still seeing a lot of positivity from GWS as well. All the teams super engaged, huddled. Uh, anyone not playing still huddled on the side on uh, near the uh, seven, hearing the call, understanding what the plan is. So Fuse can put one more in here. A couple more breaks. Just one right now. Another bladey pull. Oh, and touched it. Cat. So they're going to have to take it. Take it from the sideline. This is a great opportunity for Fuse here. Absolutely. And their entire team knows it. Yeah. 
classic Cat Smith bladey uh, bladey pull. What can Fuse do here? Oh, oh, Chang! Three grabs and manages to keep it off the ground. Ryan, she goes for a big. Two and one. Is Cat Smith in the air? She gobbles that up. Go on, put it in, Fuse. You've got O'Sullivan on the disc. She's been doing well. Oh, oh a little no. bit too far for Cat Smith. And Chang on the foot of Ryan. She manages to keep that up. Everyone streaming past. Oh, another high disc. Who's there? Oh, bubbled. It's the wind. By Mortimer. Another bye. Oh, Regan's, and, oh, gone. Regan's gone. Cat Smith. Oh, she doesn't like the look. I reckon that goes nine times out of ten from Cat Smith. <laughs> she's she's thrown to uh she's thrown to less. Oh, oh big hand block! Massive block by Ryan. Simone Ryan, big hand block, timely hand block, and in good position as well. Betty Tan walking up. Stack is really far. Break, Opening break. up that break side for Ryan. And that's where we were, I think we were saying it either earlier in this game or the first GWS game, the connection between the players. You can see the set plays. You know, I mean, Ryan and um, and Perkins, I think, had one where she was off the, just off the one. Like, straight away, disc in, you know. Bang. The players know where they're going. Uh, and very much the same thing there. Yeah, it's interesting. They set that stack really far back, and mm. Ryan almost came like off the front. It's like an ISO, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, just to make sure those fuse defenders were kept out of the way. But you can see Betty Tan really just pivoting out. Great balance. It's a great it's step a out. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, still really balanced. No travels. Love to see it. So GWS. Potentially blazing away at 66 minutes. Let's see what Fuse can do. Can they light that fire and get back in this game? I mean, there's a much bigger chance of it than uh, there was, like I said, half an hour ago. Mm. It was a bit of a procession now. Even at 6'11", there's life in it. Oh, nice bid, saves it, keeps it alive. Nice cut. Great up the line cut. This one can go long. Oh, there's a big. GWS reads it better. All right, so... GW working to the disc, setting up in a vert. It looks like disc is in. Dump it back and then the wide swing. Nice grab. Cut comes out to the middle, not on it. Engages the dump. Dump, really nice. Clear up the line. They can shoot from power position if she wants and she will. Oh, lovely. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Left. Uh. It was win to Dolan, but Dolan's quick, but not that quick. Yeah, I've seen a few overshot down this way. So let's see if Hughes can work it all the way up. The unders come into the middle. Nice, low, flat. It's got a little bit too much air on it. Now GWS can put a dagger in here. Oh. No, they can't. Dagger in their own hearts. <laughs> a couple of turns ago, but this is what you were saying before. Like, you know, start of the game, Fuse and Turner and GWS have put it in now. Because of Fuse, as well as fatigue, we're seeing multiple turns, of which we're going to yeah. see another one here, seeing multiple turns a point. And I think that comes down to, yeah, being the last game of the day and the being fatigued, but also, you know, Fuse really starting to, to rock up and apply some pressure. Yeah. A little bit more structured and balanced here from GWS, first time in a while. Cuts still starting to dry up, so they're having to run a lot from oh, behind. Pick, call. Be pick. Uh, they're just talking about the pick. 
All right. And we're going to be back in. Three, two, one. It's in. QWS, nice and steady. Ooh. I'll be wary of overthrowing that again. Yep, agreed. That's oh. much better weight. Oh. Well done to avoid contact and checked well in on done. the player anyway. Sam was free. That was fantastic. Yeah. It's always a oh, big step out. It's always brave going for one of those. Yeah. From all players. Go. That's someone a nice go long, someone go long. <sighs> Didn't quite time that one early enough. Settling again. Oof. Lady. Yeah, it works. Well taken down. Oh, another high. Oh, GWS gobbled that in. Oh, Nguyen just manages to catch that on her fingertips. She's looking for a dump in Watermar. GWS are sorting themselves out downfield. So the handlers get moving. There aren't many long cuts going on. I mean, no. I know they're overshooting them, but it doesn't mean you've got to, you can you stop cutting because yeah. then the, your defenders will know and they'll adjust. And that's why these cuts are coming with a lot more down um, uh, downfield pressure. Yeah, absolutely. GWS, cutters still working hard downfield, but just not quite getting the timing at the moment yeah. to connect. See, there are four in them. They're, they're yeah. gassed. They're absolutely knackered. I mean, Quan 22 has been working really hard. Yeah. Oh, the big one goes up. There's yeah. no one home. That's a stall nine kind of uh, hit and hope, that one. Smarter, not harder, I think. Yeah. They're just not quite timing those cuts. They're all going at once or there's nothing coming. So it's making it really hard to connect with downfield. We're joined by a very special guest. I'd like to... Uh, Introduce Simon Talbot. Good afternoon, Simon. How are you? Hi, Andrew. Hi, Avril. Hi, how's, Simon. How's day one of your tournament been as we watch uh, Fuse work it up Ooh, and turn? Another turn. I've been getting around watching a fair bit of Ultimate. There's been quite a number of upsets today. The uh, the cold weather and the wind has really thrown a lot of teams through a loop. We saw Fishwick United get up over Sunder uh, and also Juggernaut. Um, we're watching Hot Chili up over I-Beam at the moment, so it's an exciting tournament. There's no such thing as an easy game anymore at this event. Yeah. Not at this one, no. Uh, any other surprise pack packets? Do you see Fuse move it up into the end oh. zone? And that, no pick call, that's a goal. Let's go. So Fuse pull it back to 7-11. Is that another upwind break, Andy? That's another upwind break. I mean, these are the, the small things that you need just to build uh, to build the confidence. Yeah, for sure. And, you know, the result of this game, you know, might not be changed at this kind of late in the piece, but it'll inspire confidence going into day two, three and four for Fuse. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Both teams look fairly evenly matched here. It's just that last, that probably that last 20 metres to the end zone, the GWS just had that ascendancy at the moment. They've just got the, the temperance among their their backfield players just to hold on possession, take the smart shots. Whereas Fuse tend to just, they're getting plenty of opportunities. They're buying themselves lots of chances, but just that last 20 metres is probably the difference between those teams at the moment. Yeah, and this, I mean, it was the start of the game. Really, GWS came out, put four on the board quickly. And, and that's the margin now, so there's that difference. Same difference, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, I mean, in to, like you were saying, to Fuse's credit, like, Scoreline's one thing, but the vibe, and particularly the vibe you take back to the accommodation mm. and to dinner. Okay, if you didn't get the win, you'd rather be finishing strong um, than kind of falling away and, and losing the last four in a row. That, that sends you back to the uh, back to the econ pretty flat. Yep. So we've seen this pool. This pool's going to, I think, go out for a brick. It is. So whilst we take the brick, uh, Simon, I think uh, congratulations are in order. Little Birdie tells me that uh, you've... Uh, been nominated as a finalist in the Vic Sports Awards Administrator of the Year. Is that correct? Uh, yeah, that's correct. That uh, that good news came through the other day. Uh, fairly honoured to be up there. Some um, some very uh, very well known names of Victorian sport have been have won that award before and have been nominated this year. So yeah, happy just to be uh, mentioned in their company. Oh, I think they're lucky to have oh, you on the sounds of things as we see Hughes, o Regan. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Wheels, looks for the big. Decides to go for a safe under option. 
couldn't stop smiling. <laughs> <laughs> she couldn't draw along because she just had a big smile on her face from the good day. It was like the Irish luck. <laughs> Uh, and we've got Cat Smith, lovely inside break. Oh, Fuse knocking on the door. Let's see if they can keep composure like GWS have been all game. Yep, easy Simon goal. was saying. Oh, Fuse like not dead in the water just yet. No. Two things you should never give Cat Smith that's time and space. <laughs> she had plenty of both there, and just that easy. It made the lateral movement look ridiculously easy, but on a day like today, it's been so difficult. Like this next throw here, you see on replay, that's going into the wind. Yeah. And same with this one, and just enough, just enough nice. on it, no nice more, no less. Speed. Yeah. Control. So I think there will be a timeout call. I think this one's credited GWS. to GWS, yeah. so which would probably make sense, sense. because GWS, <laughs> pardon me, if GWS could kind of just take the sting out of the game. Not even necessarily... Scoring the point would be fantastic, but even making a uh, fuse run around for the next five minutes, take the sting out of it. Um, take, you know, get them fatigued again. Because yep. right now, all the momentum, you can see there over um, at the fuse huddle, they're all linked arm in arm for engagement, but also, again, for warmth. Wouldn't be surprised to see a zone set from GWS yeah. as you've just been talking about the uh, they want to really slow down this offense and I think that making Fuse have to throw 20 or 30 passes will really, if not slow them down, I think will definitely get the turn. So that's probably why this timeout's been called, just to change into that, flipping that mindset of defense. They're saying that GWS will be coming out of offense. So they'll be hoping for a quick one. Yeah, yeah, then slow it down. They wouldn't go the old uh, huck and hope and play defense down there. We're not seeing, probably not at this level. Uh, maybe not. It would be unconventional. <laughs> I think the GWS O line has shown a lot of consistency really throughout the early game, uh, earlier streamed game, as well as this one. So I think they'd back themselves in. Yeah, don't see many tall targets going onto the field here. So I reckon, yeah, they'll just grind this one away. You think? Yep. Yeah. <laughs> There we go. There's the Rex getting action of the uh, the Irish team with a few Brisbane imports. <laughs> you can use that one. Yeah, yeah, I got to tell you I like it. All right. Let's see if Fuse can uh, ignite. A Good, little bit not more about pressure. Paul, all yeah, things considered. Yeah, yeah, you take it. Cat's been, been um, pulling rollers. So yeah, yeah put, hit them on it. that high sideline. Yeah. That's a great move. Yeah, they did really well to trap them on the sideline in their zone earlier in the piece. Although it looks like it's a match for this one. I'm doing well to push them back. A bit deep. Yeah, GWS set up way too deep here. Yeah, it's yeah. too deep, yeah. Just haven't adjusted. Oh, just a little okay one through. Now. It's looking like they're forcing middle, maybe. Uh, you can hear the yeah. yeah. You can hear the sideline giving instructions to the mark. Bid. Oh, oh, there it is. That felt inevitable. That just that intent on defense yeah. from Fuse there. Anson starting to pace up and down now. <laughs> Lovely. Grab. Salisbury committing to that cut. Ooh. And just the wind pushing that around. Uh, let's see what Fuse can do. See if this force return is going to work for them again. Ah, that's a big shot. Oh, it's a floater. Oh. Read it well, but couldn't clasp the fingers around the rim. They've gone for the quick play. Yeah. And, and, oh, I don't know. Tams picked it up quickly, but her receivers weren't ready. They get out of jail with yeah. it. But that was bold. Still got a bit of work to do. Coning. Nice around break. Got Renica here. No dump. Ooh, just squeezes it to Fleming. Not really making a lot of ground yet. Fuse. Just make, just keeping possession. And another. Big pick 
or pickled. <gasps> Well before. Question is, did it affect play? <laughs> Very Deathly long silence. time before, yeah. But you you play it. That's like the by the absolute load of the war. That is a turn. Yeah, and I think that's exactly what they're doing now. Simon is just understanding what that the rule, rule is, is, and then work out if and how they uh, incorporate it. Is there an injury as well that's been called? And starting to pace very impatiently past the desk. I just wanted to know where I could pick And we hear the siren go off in the background. So finish this point, plus one. Is that for us? No? no? Okay, that, sorry, that's that siren. Different game, no, it's okay. Apologies. I think we've still got 10 minutes. Yeah. It's 90, 90 minutes on day one? 90 minute games? Yeah. We, we're about as sure of that as, as, <laughs> as you are. So, um, just been hearing random sirens throughout the course of yeah. the day. So. so, Steve Baker, the game advisor there, getting out. I think this game gave the advice to the rules. He, he didn't make the ruling there. He's no. just gone out and told them what the what, rule what is. What the rule is, yeah. yeah. And they can interpret it as they see fit. And it was a drop. All right. So, you've got Betty Tan setting up again a very deep stack. So whatever the zap set play was, wasn't coming off, but Chang's coming down. Nice grab. Betty Tan again. We've got Mortem up line. Ooh. Just picked it up. He's poached. It's a lot of Brisbane defenders in that open lane. Mortem Tan. Back to Tan. Across the field. Good patience. Yeah. Well done to keep possession. Oh, oh, just as you say that, Andy. No, you're you're winning. You're on about <laughs> five. That's only my third of the day. You're on it. You've, you've got me covered. Oh, fuse. Still in it. This Starting to ignite. See what you did there. So How's that cut? Any possession from now. Oh. Bit, bit, bit. Yeah, that one should be a forehand. Awkward down when curving away from a receiver there. Betty Tan picking up. This time a very shallow stack. Ooh, oh, nice. A lovely porridge. bid yeah. from Fuse. But they're out here now, G Dub. So they can stay patient. That is good patience, you're right. Ooh, oh. No one at the back. Not this time. Fuse oh, are doing really it? well at pinning GWS to that high side. Yeah. They're just yep. not letting anything come out to this low left of screen at all. It's something. forcing all the throws to go into the wind. Yep. So yeah. There's going to be a foul call. I think this one's coming back. <laughs> yeah, we'll so be coming back. Izzy Bath bringing it in. Oh, and overthrows Betty Tan. As Simon was saying, really difficult throw into the wind. So Fuse, yet another opportunity. The cuts downfield are not too convincing, though, so they're really relying on their handler movement. Great oh, throw. Oh, that's Stand beautiful. Throw. O'Sullivan. Oh, Sullivan. Oh, it's going go, right. Go, go, going go. right. Come on, get oh. yes. And they're going to go <laughs> mental! Watch them go absolutely mental! We have a game. Woo! So that's nine. Fuse, GWS 11. And it's 83 minutes. Wow. The only way Fuse are going to progress there is to take that shot. So yeah. GWS, conversely, we said that Fuse were pinning them to that high sideline. GWS are really tempted to come to the low sideline, so throwing with the wind, pushing it out of bounds. Yeah, their only way out was to take that shot. And look at it, it's come off. What a grab. And um, that finishing throw. Yeah. Well, that read as well as oh. anything. Like, yeah. To reel it in, that's, that's great. That was great coming this way quick. Yeah. But picked out exactly where it was. Uh, <laughs> where it was Grabbed going. it on the trailing edge. Look yeah. at that. What a grab. Did well to not be ground stripped either. But also did well to, like, Cool. Yeah. I just did something yeah. Take awesome. Take a breath. And yes. Now I'm going to do something less than awesome. Nothing wrong with the backhand. Yeah. And 
Nelson calling his matchups now on the line. Mm. Yeah, he'll get really involved now, but yeah. uh, they've got a sniff. Yeah, GWS have got a pretty strong offensive line. They've brought Freddie Tan across, Kirkins, Ryan, Chow. Can't quite see the last couple. Fuse's best bet at this point would be to try and pin GWS to this near sideline. This yep. pull's going to be crucial. They wanted to land on this Cat near sideline closest to screen. Really pin him in this corner. Well, it's not Cat Smith with the pull. No, but any kind of roller. Yeah. Just put, put pressure on the handlers to stop it. I think Cat will end up coming down market a handler, maybe. Nice pull. It's got some Ooh, quick okay. legs on shoes. If you're of the Irish imports yep. on this line. Perkins, high release backy to Ryan. Ryan wants to look inside. GWS is a really fine line between like playing safe <laughs> and, and playing overly conservative. Like they don't want to yeah. go away from their style out of fear of not winning the game. Just not losing the game, sorry. The defensive pressure just disappeared. Oh! oh. That's a gift. That's an absolute Yeah, defensive. they Fuse just really didn't have that defensive pressure locked on this point. GWS cool. were just able to move it far too easily. Well, so I'm going to have a look here. So there's something in the stack. Injury call. It? Oh, it's an injury, oh. right, okay. Yeah, it's interesting because you heard the Fuse players on the sideline yelling, fine, 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 but it didn't actually look too much like a junk, so no, there no. must have been some cross wires there. Yeah, I reckon it was a, a mixed up um, assignment. Saying that though, this particular line for GWS has been very reliable all game. Yeah. Yep, so there should be turn, it should be a turn, they're bringing turn. it in. Yeah, yep, cool. All right. All right. So Fuse have an opportunity here. Isolated cutter. This is going. Oh, maybe not. Can it be getting oh, high danger, here? Danger. Whoa. Yep. Wow. No. Big D. Big ten seconds on the mark, and yeah. well, the mark as well as the other six players. Shut down that first look, as you said, Simon. That first look did go yep. deep. Cat didn't like it, but then the count started getting real high, and there were just too many fuse players all going into that dump swing space. Yeah. So now G Dub looking to squeeze it in, do better to move it around. They choose not to. They choose to keep it on this side. Thinks about the break side. Two on one, oh, three on two, top. three on one. Oh, Cat Smith. Cat Smith. Have to shoot. Have to shoot. A big one. Regan's going. Really Trust her to get this disc ahead of Perkins. Keep going. Just yeah, go one again. two, one twos all day. Oh, Sullivan. Don't, on she's the right there. Line. Oh. Throw the goal. <laughs> <laughs> Looking behind. That's good. That's good. Take your time. Take your time. Oh. <laughs> oh, yeah, like, yeah, six. Number six and number six. It's McInnes on Perkins. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's a strip. I think sort Sarah's annoyed about it. But Sarah's I not pleased with it. Yeah. No, but I no. think she knows it is. Yeah. I'm guessing Sarah's either. Perkins contention with that one might be that McInnes had already had a goal at yeah. it. Yeah. Mm. yeah. Which but she did. She also but there's that second shot. go. Yeah. So it's always the one that creates those contentious calls yeah. is yeah. the fighting did a bit too long in the air. Yeah. Did, did you actually have a second go? <laughs> the uh, the fuse fuse players getting the getting some uh, perspective from the big screen. The action replay. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, it did look like the disc was in McInnes' hands. You can see her clasp her hand around the rim. Well, I don't think Sarah got... I'm not sure if she actually got her hand on the, on the I hips. I think it's the contact of the hips. Oh, I didn't even... Uh, okay, yeah. yeah. I get the point. Feels like this will be contested, it's a contested and go back. contested foul. That's yeah. what... That's going to be a high advises, stall, though. Game yeah. Mm. It's probably coming in stall late, surely. Mr. Rapazzo is like, like, liking this. I'm guessing that's in regards to the resurgence, the fuse resurgence. Where do you shoot? You got one look at the end zone. I'm going to Oregon. Yeah. 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 Back, back right. Back cone. right. Yep. I'm going to get a telestrator. 
maybe able to draw, <laughs> draw, draw on that back cone. So we're basically where that uh, secondary observer is. Not game C. advisor. Yep. Float it up uh, there. Game advisor, thank you. Yep, I'd be floating it up there. Keeps the dump engaged. Oh, strip. strip. That Gets is, a free turn. That is a let off. <laughs> That's a huge let off. Waterman knows it as count. well. Oh, She's down. Stall no. count goes back to zero. <laughs> free count. Oh. oh, Regan was on. Yeah. She just saw her too late. Go, go. Surely. Pick cold, I believe. <laughs> Attracted. Goal stands. Yep, goal. Ooh. Now oh. I hope we get this on replay. How's the blind turn from Cat Smith on <laughs> yeah. that dog? That was you, unbelievable. You. It just bought her about 10 metres of space. Time cut. We are going to either 12 or 13, depending on that, because time cap. When? Well, the goal's caught. The next point starts, so, yeah. so they'll be completing this, this one. one and the next one, yeah. yeah. Look at this. Yeah. Turns away. This yeah. Oh, that's the, that's the foul. Here we go. <laughs> Watch this one. Sends her in. And just, oh. 360. <laughs> How do you like it? And that's just great connection and, and you know, yeah. faith in your teammates. Like, yeah. you know, because yeah. if you blind turn, sometimes you go, okay, as someone with a disc, you go, okay, my dump's bailing out. Yeah, they're leaving. They're, they've so stopped. They've stopped looking at me because yeah. you're trained to always look. But the trust there to go, no, I know that this is just a, a 270 yeah. <laughs> shake yeah, and yeah. bake <laughs> to lose Ryan. Um, great work to stick with it. I had this side that goal line for a long time, but we saw it before. Fuse are only getting over GWS by taking the shot. Mm. It's they're, they're not they're not going to be able to grind this yep. one out. So how long can they keep that up? Well, this game was done. Yeah, this game was done. Uh, you know, <laughs> look, I'll, t I'll take some credit for uh, when I sat down. I think it all got interesting. Yeah, <laughs> let's see if GWS can respond. Junk look. They'll transition. A lot out of, of this. people in that um, space in front of the disc. Ready turn. Comes across to Mon Chang. And now they move it up to Mortimer. Looks like they've got a pretty reliable O line on. Just working it through. Betty Tan. Boudib. Across to Mortimer. Just working through the handlers in some small faces at the moment. Ryan's coming down. Good coverage. Yeah, great dump defense. Good dump oh, defense. Fantastic dump defense. Wow. Oh, Ryan just gets a step ahead. Ooh. Wow. A lot, uh, there was an element of luck to it, but also well done from Simone Ryan, keeping uh, committed to it and a lovely um, floating. That's on, a, that's on a stool nine, that is. Yep. Great dump defense. Both from sides, Pews. actually. Yeah, yep. and then just that, face mark. that yep. one just sitting up enough. Well done. So we are going to 13. 13. 12 10, game to 13. So. Fuse will have a, a crack on O, downwind, and then their uh, D has to do it from there on out. Mortimer was, Mortimer was the MVP at that point. Like, not only did that leading pass to Ryan, but she recognised early on that they were going to transition out of mm. uh, that junk walk into match. So she put in a bunch of just unconventional cuts yep. just to draw defenders' attention to her. And she ended up being free for most of it, but just moved out of that handle space because... Defenders are starting to look, oh, I've got a mark. Oh, she's gone. Someone else will get her. Like, yep. it's, it's taking advantage of that transition to just buy easy yards. Yep. So, for Fuse, the, the goals keep getting scored. The party keeps going. Look at this, GWS all sitting deep now. It's a side, it's an ISO's play. Pat reckons under, doesn't quite work out. Oh, and a pad block on, by Betty Tan on Cat Smith. Short field to work with. Booty puts one, big one up to Simone Ryan. But Cat Smith gets into the space. Good read from Cat. Knew where the... Uh, 
when that disc was going to come down and that it was just probably going over Simone's head. Could have been the game. Let's see how much longer that, uh, as Simon said, how much longer can we keep the party going? Oh, well, Sullivan manages to keep the, the disc up. They After don't. Two or three bubbles. They don't want to be turning it up here. Nah, Get it to go. <gasps> oh, Betty Tan. Betty Tan again. twice. Stepping up in the big point. Perkins. What we have seen, this is probably GWS, apart from using the lateral space, this is probably their big strength that we've seen a few times. Red zone set plays. Yep. 100%. One ISO out. And that is the game. GWS, after a bit of a scare from Fuse, who came, uh, came really hard coming out of uh, half to give us a show as soon as Simon sat down, yep. as he said. Uh, maintained their composure and did enough hard work in the first half that even though they started to stumble, um, they still had that buffer. 13-10 game, obviously much closer than that, but uh, Fuse can be happy that they're going to the accommodation and out to Pizza Hut or wherever, um, knowing that they kind of got up off the canvas and gave it a red-hot crack. No sense of occasion at all from Betty Tan there. We're <laughs> expecting a grandstand finish, and she's just gone, no, nah, not today. Two blocks, punch the goal in. Yep. Yep, stood up at the right time, said, no, Kill I'm cold, I want to go business. home. Yep. Yeah. yeah, I don't want to take any, have any of this universe point rubbish. Okay, so from myself, Avril Tam, Simon Talbot, the entire Ulti TV team, uh, in partnership with uh, Ultimate Australia, uh, would like to say thank you for joining us on day one, five games. Uh, the good news is that we've also got a day two, three and four to come. Uh, and if they're anywhere as entertaining as the games we've had today, I think we're in for a real treat. So thank you, everyone. Thanks all those who are uh, tuning in. Got 150 on the stream still. Uh, and thanks also to uh, everyone uh, posting the comments, all the volunteers. We will see you bright and early at 8.30 tomorrow.